Hello there and welcome to EDU On Go. This video will give you a quick tour of EDU On Go. When you join a course for the first time, you will land into the sessions area. In here, the instructor will lay down the course material into different sessions, topics, weeks, exercises, and so on. Each session is set up much like a web page. You have a slider at the top that promotes the content of the session, some multimedia content or your instructor's video lectures, activities, your exams, assignments, and some HTML text at the bottom. You can navigate from one session to another by clicking on the tabs at the top. Notice I have a couple of extra buttons on the right side, add session and edit a session. As a student, you will not have these options. Let's go ahead and click on a video lecture. Each video that your instructor links on the session will give you the capabilities to interact with each other. And when I say so, I'm talking about the tracks that you see on the timeline. As you are watching a video lecture, you will be able to observe the notes of your classmates or the instructor. For example, right now it's displaying a note that's been left by a classmate on that particular time frame. I can reply to that note, so if I go back and click on that, it will pause the session and I can hit the reply button to go ahead and reply to that note. So this way you can reply to your classmates notes and collaborate with each other as you are watching the lecture. If you'd like to leave your own notes, you can click anywhere on the timeline or pause while the video is playing. So here is a note. I'm just going to say purple note. And hit create. This will add a track on the timeline and when the playhead reaches that track, it will display that note to others that are watching this video. You can observe a list of your notes by clicking on the list view and scroll up and down. I can go back here and if I'd like to just leave comments on this video I can simply click on the comment side of this and start adding comments just like on a YouTube video. Next let's go ahead and move to our course stream area. Each course has its own streaming capabilities. In the course stream area, you can share your posts with your classmates. You can click on the left side of any post and it will display the details of that post to the right. You can comment on that post, like or unlike, and so on. You can share a variety of posts from the top menu. Media, link, file, questions, and an article. Next, let's go ahead and move to our activities section. As a student, you will have the option to submit an assignment by clicking on the button up right corner, Submit Assignment. If I switch to the instructor's view, I'll have the option to edit or add an assignment. The same applies on quizzes and exams. On the instructor side, you will have more options where you can add questions to your quiz and on the student's view, you will have the option to take the quiz. Notice that this quiz has been taken by the student, so it shows submitted yes. Let's go to the next quiz. The final exam has not been taken, so I get the button to take a quiz. If I expand my tools from the left side, I get the option to grade my students check my calendar, get a collection of all of the sliders that I've used in my sessions, and there are how-to video tutorials that will cover the major sections of EDU on Go. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the desktop. Whether you are a student or an instructor, you can use your desktop to save your work and access them from wherever you are. So anywhere in the gray area, you can right-click and upload a file from your hard drive. I'll pick a PNG and I hit open. Here's the file that I just uploaded. 
Let's go ahead and upload another one. This time I'm gonna pick a JPEG. There we go. Now, if you'd like to organize your files into folders, you simply click on My Documents module from the bottom menu. So here are the two files we just uploaded. I can add a directory. And I can move those files into that folder. So I hit Edit, select the files, click on the Move button at the bottom, and then click on the folder that you'd like to move those files. Now notice my files disappeared from the desktop. This way you can keep your desktop clean. Your desktop will also act as your portfolio website. Some of the modules in the desktop you can make it public so anybody can see. For example, if you go to My Work, you can add your own work in here by clicking Edit, Add Work, and I'm going to pick a URL. So let's say you have built a website that you want to share to the public. You can simply click on that, add a thumbnail to that work, and add the URL of the website. Pick a category, and then hit Save. And others can see your work that you have built up while you're taking the courses. If I click on the work that I just posted, it will bring up the website Real Switch. I can navigate through the website and close it. On the home page, I can upload my own logo and add a slogan. Notice each module for the desktop, you can click on the edit button on the left side. This will switch the view into the edit view and here's where you can upload your own image. and add your own slogan. Then I hit save and the image will show up in there. The next button shows my to-do list that I have on my courses. All of the courses that I'm attending or courses that I have created. I can create a new course if I'd like to. My profile my documents, my books, social networking tools, and my contact form. The modules that will be public to your domain will be your homepage, your profile, your work, your social networking tools, and the contact information. Again, you can leave those empty if you don't want to share any of the content with the public. Next, I'll go ahead and jump into my books. Whether you'd like to share an article, create a chapter, or add a full book, EDU on Go provides an amazing e-reader. Once you upload the material to the e-reader, you can flip between pages from the left arrows. Or you can slide at the bottom. Your e-reader gives you capabilities to select text and highlight. It also enables you to add notes on your selections. Moreover, you can categorize your notes with colors. So if I select, hit add note again, I can switch to a different color and hit submit. If you click on that icon, it will pull up the note that you just left. You can also select and find the definition of a word. You can Google that selection. Find out what Wikipedia has got to say about it. Or search within the book. Where is that word repeated in the book? You can also select and add questions throughout your chapters. These questions can then serve as a study guide for your students.
From up right corner, you can bookmark a page, get to the contents of that book, change the font size, font family, and so on, or dim your screen. Now, if you'd like to see what your classmates or the instructor is writing on that specific page, you can switch views with your classmates. So from the drop down here, I can switch to a different classmate's view of the same book. Let's go to edu on go. So within the same page, I'm looking at edu on go's notes, questions, bookmarks, and so on. Notice I can only observe the notes of my classmates. I cannot edit or delete them. If I'd like to get a list of my notes, I can simply click on the menu and this will pull down a list of all the notes. I can go to questions, bookmarks, and so on. Let's switch back to our view. If I want to go back to the desktop, I can simply click on the button up left corner. This will take me back to the desktop. And if I'd like to go back to a course, I can click on all courses or from the drop down menu, I can click on the course that I'm attending or teaching. Again, thank you for watching and enjoy learning with eduongo.com.